because it is Thursday and we're going to be meeting Taylor there. This is the first time Taylor's been to Mops. I'm so excited to introduce her to the girls because they are just such lovely, lovely girls. Um, but it was Saxon's first birthday a few days ago. So we went to Kmart this morning and picked up a sweet little birthday present for him. Samuel picked it out, so I hope he likes it. And there's some bubbles in there for the kids. And I also got Taylor um, this beautiful notebook. It's got basically the same message as what I put on my hoodies. If you haven't seen my merch line, I'll have it in the cards above because it's only got a couple of days to go. So if you haven't got it, go and check it out and get yourself a t-shirt or a hoodie or a mug because they are cute and they're limited edition. I don't think I'll be bringing them out again or well I don't know maybe I'll bring them back out for um, Jackson's due date um, but I haven't decided yet so make sure you go get one of those and if you do get one or if you have ordered one already which I know a lot of people have make sure you send me a picture of you wearing it when you've got it and I'll put it in a vlog because I can't wait to see everyone wearing it I'm so excited but yes I got those and Taylor's favorite lollies um, sour patch watermelon kids so I don't know what we're going to do after mops I don't know if we're going to continue hanging out with them for a few hours today or if we're just going to go home um, Sam woke up a lot earlier than what he woke up yesterday um, he woke up about 7 30 8 o'clock so hopefully he'll be ready for a nap around 12 ish which should put him to bed a little bit earlier than 10 o'clock like last night so we'll see what happens there um, depends on what we do obviously for the day but I'm excited to catch up with them and have a play date <laughs> And that is the toy. <laughs> okay, we're home. I'm just opening up the windows and getting some light in because Taylor and Mason and Saxon will be here shortly. But I wanted to show you guys what we picked up from the shops on the way home because it is Mason's birthday this weekend too. And we haven't got him a present yet, but I'll get him one this week. But we have a birthday cake for the boys. We have strawberries. We have apples. Are you eating the apples? Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Don't eat both of them because mommy's going to chop them up. I'll just have to chop this one up. Okay. <laughs> we had apples. Uh-uh. No, you can't. Have this one. Banana. You're not eating both of them. Um, we have some party pies for lunch. And I have some hummus dip and celery and stuff for us adults. And we have the birthday presents. So I just need to write on some cards and put all the food out and get everything ready and do a little bit of a tidy up before they come over because you guys... Mum life, my kitchen looks like a mess. What are you doing? Did you just spit your apple out on the floor? Yucky, don't climb the cupboards. Oh my goodness, you guys. Is it just a boy thing that spits food out on the floor or do girls do it too? Because I swear it must just be a boy thing. Okay, they're gonna be here in a second. Clearly, kitchen is still a mess. But I've got a birthday cake for the boys. We've got some snacks here. I have some party pies in the oven. So lunch is all good to go. I'm gonna chuck a movie on shortly. And yeah, hopefully we will have a good afternoon. I think we're good enough friends now that if they come and my house is not perfect because the little man has pulled all his toys out, it's not gonna be the end of the world. So <gasps> come on for this cake. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday Mason and Sam, Mason. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Alright, right. light the candles. You blow oh, Sam? Thank 
We're going to put on his um, plaque. We've been holding off on that for a little while because we wanted it to be perfect. It's $900 for a plaque that is literally this big. Um, so we've been holding off because I wanted it to be perfect. I didn't want to have to replace it later on. And I think we're going to put the Peter Pan quote on there. I just I keep coming back to that quote, and it's um, you know that place between being awake and still being asleep the place where you still remember your dreams um that's where i'll be waiting that's where i'll always love you and i just i think that's how it goes or something similar to that it just that is seriously the sweetest thing and it totally reminds me of jackson it reminds me of where i think of him because i do i, I tend to think of him mostly i think of him all throughout the day by the way like we've got pictures up all throughout the house there's lots of memories that his teddy bear is on the bed um his hospital blankets are on my nightstand um they haven't been washed they've still they don't really smell like him because he didn't really smell like anything but they're they're just there it's just a nice reminder there's just nice reminders everywhere and you know whenever somebody mentioned to me when you see like a white feather um, that's them or when the Sun comes out I always tell Sammy that when the Sun comes out that's Jackson thinking about us you know when it peeks through the clouds and stuff and he waves to it and says hi Jackson and it just it melts my heart I try and keep you know his memory alive as much as I can in our family because he's still my baby boy and I miss him every day and it's getting harder again because it's getting close to his due date but it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay <sighs> anyway I'm going to go and see him have a little moment and enjoy his company for a brief moment hopefully the ground's not wet and I can sit with him for a while but just make sure all of his things are there and he's taken care of and just to remind him that I love him. Um, I feel, I don't know how often you're supposed to, I don't know what I'm doing at all. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how often you're supposed to visit your babies. I don't know, like I feel like once a fortnight is maybe not enough, but trying to get there every week is, is a lot. Um, I don't know, I don't know if I'm doing a good job. I, I don't want people to think, well, I don't want people, I don't really care what people think, but I don't want him to think that I've forgotten him or I'm not thinking about him or that he doesn't 
mean much to me because I don't visit him enough and <sighs> the feelings you guys the feelings the pressure is real anyway I'm gonna stop rambling we're gonna go see Jackson and I will see you guys when we get there That was harder than what I thought it was going to be today. A lot harder. My heart is actually hurting right now. <sighs> hurting because I miss Jackson. <sighs> but also because there is another little baby about to be buried. Right by him. Well, not right by him, a couple of spots away, but. Oh, that poor family.